Okay. <laughs> so busy looking at it. Oh. I'm sorry. No, I'm not sorry. That was, fu <laughs> that was funny. Oh, that just made my day. Can't okay, see somebody down there. That bomb. Oh, look at that. Two tanks, the right thing, right things to each other. Oh, never mind. There he went, I completely lost that guy. That guy committed suicide. Oh! <laughs> Hello beautiful people. So yesterday I picked up the French starter pack doing War Thunder's 8 years anniversary sale. Normally it's $10 but because of the sale it's 50% off so it was down to $5 and that is something I just could not say no to. So what did I get in the pack? I got the B1 TER or TER and I got the P40 F5 Lafayette. So in this video, I'll play a couple of games and show you the difference in stats between the regular version and the premium version which these vehicles are. And I'll give you my opinion on them. If you look at the two vehicles side by side, what do we see? They both have the same 75mm low velocity gun in the hull. And they have identical weaponry in the turret also, a 47mm gun and a 7.5mm machine gun. So although the weaponry are identical on the two models, you're getting slightly more ammunition on the B1 tur. You're getting 16 more rounds for the 75mm cannon, and you're getting 20 more rounds for the 47mm cannon. You lose, however, 1100 rounds on the light machine gun. Turret rotation, vertical guidance and reload are identical, there's a tiny difference in reloading speed, but that's only because the B1 tur crew has more upgraded its reload speed on their loader. The biggest difference is in the hull protection, whereas in on the B1 BIS it's 60, 55 and 50, on the B1 tur it's 70, 70 and 55. This means on both the front, side and rear and the B1 tur is better protected compared to the regular B1. On the B1 tur you also get an additional crew and you get more horsepower. On the regular B1 you get 307 horsepower and on the B1 tur you get 350. And top speed is also slightly better on the B1 tur. So that means that the B1 tur is a little better uphill and in terrain and it actually has a lot more survivability with the additional crew member, so you get another guy you can switch out in case you uh, start getting crew members killed. The only place or item on the list where the B1 BIS actually wins is in the repair cost. The repair cost on the regular B1 is 1,343, while on the B1 TUR it's 1,840 silver lines. And at the very bottom of the list you can also see what kind of rewards you're getting out of it. The regular B1 you get 224% reward, while on the B1 tour you get 336. And when you talk about silver lands, you get 90% on the B1 regularly, and you get 120% on the B1 tour. The B1 tour premium does have advantages across the board and makes it a slightly better tank.
Something I've noticed while uh, playing the Bebo and Tur yesterday is that it performs very well at BR 2.3 and lower, where it's an absolute beast. However, when you get up to it, which of course happens often, even at 2.7 you're running into difficulties. Because then you're facing the German 50mm gun, and let's say you're up against the Swedes, already there you're facing a round which has 105mm armor pen because they get access to support rounds even on the reserve vehicles. So the additional 10-15mm more armor you get in this version of the B1 does not really matter at that point. So if you're up tier to 2.7, I would not take this vehicle out as the first spawn. I would wait until some of the 2.7s are killed off and then spawn it in because then you can be an absolute beast again. When we're looking at the French P40 Lafayette and compare it to the regular P40 in the American tree which also sits at 2.7, the flight performance is pretty much identical where the difference is a silver line gain repair cost, and RP rewards. In that case, the premium pulls ahead. With the French premium version of the P40, you gain 118% RP reward over the American one, and you gain 90% more civil line reward compared to the original American one. The regular American P40 cost 3,526 civil lines to fully repair, while the French premium version costs 4,830 silver lines to fully repair. We are on the Eastern Europe map, and so far it looks like a 2.3 game which would make me uh, very happy. I thought about just going straight through from A to Bravo to Charlie, but I actually think I'm going to do some flanking. Um, I maybe disrupt the enemy team from uh, the opposite shore or riverbank, whatever to call it. And then see if I can move forward from there and then kind of cut in between uh, Bravo. See how it goes. Okay, I'm in getting closer to uh, Bravo. And right now I'm mostly interested in seeing if I have company over here on this uh, side of the river. Let me just turn off the engine. Wow, this engine is super noisy. I would actually say no, for right now at least. So let me try to turn into, uh, into Bravo from here. Oh. How was that? And did it come from this side of the river or the other one? Oh, there it is. Go, little Italian. But I don't. I was about to say I don't think that was him, though. There's another one over there. There is another one too. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm gonna wait until I have him in in a side shot if possible. If he's going forward. 
Let's just turn on the main gen again. Turn off. I do hear something. Yep, 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 definitely. But again, I don't know if it's from this side or the other side. Let me just back up a little. Oh, there he goes. Oh, there he is. What is that? Really challenge tank destroyer. Huh. Okay, I got him there. I wonder if that was the guy I killed, or was that somebody else? Okay, we have some more coming up. From behind Bravo, I don't really think I can hit him from here though, but... Might have to move up a little. I know I will ex. Oh, it's my whole side, but. Unfortunately, there's not much, much I can do. Oh, well, that guy can't really hurt me. Trying though, and that was the sweet I was worried about with his uh, armor pen. Maybe I can pin him so he can't shoot at me. Maybe no, I'm damaged unfortunately. hit on him okay got him killed that's the other guy over there okay uh, that was the duck uh, let's see if I can bring my other gun to bear Oh. Uh. Yeah. This is 75. I got a kill with that one. Wouldn't mind some support, no. I'm a little afraid. See, I don't know what's going on with the graphics right now. I mean, those uh, things are staying. Uh. Is that a bomb? Uh, okay. Uh, I think there's another anti aircraft up ahead. I'm just waiting for a Stuka bomb. Uh, one ton bomb in my head right now, to be honest. Maybe I should just move up instead. Okay. Just a punch of two. I don't see anything over there. I think that was the guy I heard just a minute ago. But I really, really wouldn't mind some uh, 
some help or they leave with cash at the other one. Okay, so far this is working beautifully. Seven kills in. Oh. I'm surprised I actually got that one. See, this is the short barrel 75, and I'm not as worried about that one as I would be in the other one. Okay, he goes there. See what else do they have in store for me? I do hear something, or is it just my own I can hear? I'm not quite sure. No, there's something else up front. Right over there. Can't really tell what it is. Uh, yeah. Not sure what that is. That's something Swedish. Ah. Uh, okay, what that's from. Okay, I got him with a 75. I really don't want to uh, to start repairing, but because that would make me pretty vulnerable. I mean, he can't really do anything. Another one with a 75. Okay, uh, I guess I'll take the chance and try to repair. And also uh, switch screw. Oh. Yeah, I don't think I need to worry about that guy. I still have four crew members left. Let me try and move up. Yeah. There's one more, so... We are up to a double A so far. So there's something behind me and I, I don't know really what it is. But I just know that I want to get out of the artillery. Okay, let's move a little further up. And you know, maybe just stay here and chill for a little while. You know, and sometimes you're waiting a whole day for, you know, a fun game like this. Well, fun for me anyhow. Frustrating as hell for everybody who's up against the B1 C in a situation like this. But I think I did the right thing with actually waiting until uh, they spent most of the uh, bigger vehicles, the high tier vehicles. So even the slow firing 75 millimeter gun in my uh, hull was actually effective at that point afterwards thought I heard something
So I'm pretty cool that I'm able to switch from uh, uh, one weapon to the next. Let me just. I think there's an anti aircraft vehicle over there. See if I can grab uh, the spawn. Just see if I can hide. It's gonna be fun with the next patch now that all these uh, holes actually stay. I know I've been thinking about it too, where you can use them as a as a cover, but on the other hand, you can also uh, get murdered by them. Uh, okay, I'm not really sure. Well, I guess he didn't really have. An option at that point. I'm surprised he didn't spawn in that thing early. I mean, that could be become really, really dangerous for me. Okay, new record for me: 14 kills with the B1C. Yeah, it's better rating 2.3, and okay, of course it is a premium vehicle, and I do have a premium account going, but still. A 2.3, I almost got 45,000 silver ones out of it. And I actually got a winter camo scheme for it. Nice. We are on the Karelia map. I think it's the first time I've actually uh, had uh, the P40 that I yet. <laughs> Out on uh, out on this map. So what's going on over there? Something. Uh, okay, got some hit on it. Wasn't too much. My guess is they're gonna be planes up in a minute, so let me see if I can get rid of these uh, 250 kilogram bomb. Uh oh. Ooh! <laughs> Double kill. Nice. The second double kill I got today where they were standing right next to each other. The first time was two F fours uh, M4 sorry, this time this time was two F ones, that was funny. Okay, so I don't hear or see anything yet. Ah, I'm too fast. It's unfortunate. Let me try again. Somebody on Bravo. Ooh, got some hits on them. Try that again. Just be careful that one that is a Yeah, okay. Six two. Oh, never mind. Let's 
So what is that thing after me? I mean, I can hear him, but I can't. Oh, there he is. Yeah, I lost him. Okay, I need to fly home then if I can make it. No, he just, <laughs> just committed suicide. <laughs> Chasing me into a mountainside. Okay, le let me just fly back and uh, repair and rearm anyhow. Um, oh, that was funny. We are back over more or less over the map. Uh, I think you can hear something. I'm not completely sure though. Something is happening over there. Can't really tell what it is. No. Oh, okay, never mind. I believe that uh, wh whatever it was was a kill already. All my bombs just didn't connect at all. Not sure what that is. Hmm. I'm, I don't know. I'm a little surprised I didn't hit anything right there. These are all gone. Well, I hear something. There we go. I think there's another one up. Well, this one. I think he's getting away. Nope. I think you can hear something, but... Okay. Yes. Just can't see him. Hmm. That was surprising. What is that? Oh, it's uh The Donny. There he goes. I don't think he will make it. No. There's a. Uh, is he flying home? I think he's flying home. Okay. So yes, super happy for this uh, Lafayette. So much fun. Ah, 
Ah, that was nice. We are here on the Finland map and I got a couple of kills, I believe. Yep. Two kills and assist. In order to spawn in the Lafayette. <laughs> but I could have probably done it before, but... Yeah, there was no reason to really. Okay. But the fight might already be over though. That is I think got some hits on the on the church crew. Okay, there's something down there. You can find him again, I just lost him, but there he is. I think there was a... was that a derp gun? Yeah, I think it was. Oh, the feet so bad whenever... There's so much fun to play, I just completely lost him again. I just lost him again. Is that him? No, that was a stook. An enemy plane up? No. There's something down there. Ah, uh, that's too behind. Yeah. It's not a good bomb. So then all things heading inwards. So as the battlefield, I think it's pretty quick, whatever that is. Yeah, it's a little jelly and something. Got a kill assist. That guy. Oh, that's the one. That was the German uh, 15 centimeter I was looking for. That might be an anti aircraft vehicle, I'm not really sure. Yeah, it is. Oh. Is that a Swedish one? Yeah, that was a Swedish one. It could potentially be very, very dangerous. Could be. Okay, they got... Bravo. Can they see anything on Bravo? Is that something right there? No, that was a... Time to find around. So I've been hit a couple of times, but not really bad. What about an alpha? Stook. Oh. See, is there an enemy playing after me? No. It's 
So there's something wrong with that 500 kilogram bomb because the 50 kilogram bomb, I mean, they all have a 1.5 second fuse. And uh, that should be plenty, but for some reason it's not. I, I keep getting uh, getting hit by uh, by bomb fragments from the fuse setting, and just, I don't I don't really understand why. Wait, when have I killed a plane? Okay, there's something small and quick right there. Still have 300 rounds left. Uh, Swedish something. Got him immobilized. 84 rounds left, maybe that's uh, gonna be enough. Need to be precise though. Ah, that wasn't enough, unfortunately. Okay, heading home. Still wanted. Wow, that was crazy. Oh, I hit him with a bomb. So that's the second time today I got a surprise. I need to see that replay. So is this French starter pack worth it? I would definitely say yes. On top of the two great vehicles, you're also getting 120,000 silver lines and a premium account for 7 days. And let's say for instance that you haven't started on the French tree yet, this is a great way to boosting your research into that tree and getting a lot of new vehicles unlocked very fast. So until November 9th, you can get the French starter pack at a cost just slightly higher than a McDonald's Happy Meal. And you're getting a hell of a lot of more fun out of that than a Happy Meal. And even at the regular price of $10, it's still worth it in my opinion. That was it for this little video. Until next time, have a good one.